Hello there from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. This is a, a rare treat for me at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I've not actually been since August and it does feel like a very long time since I came here. So we've had a sneaky ride on the big one before starting this vlog and I'm talking to a few people around the park they're telling us it's going to be a very quiet day and we saw that when we went on the big one because it was walk on. Now when I say we, we've got a bit of a comeback on Pleasure Beach experience today. This comeback is bigger than Eric Cantona going back to Man United after his ban. It's almost as big as Henry Cavill going back as Superman. Very pleased to announce the return of Mike. Hey! Good to be back. Yeah, yeah, it's been a while since I've been Pleasure Beach. Where have you bloody been? We've been looking for you everywhere, man. Oh, well, that's a mystery. <laughs> no, I've been, uh, I've been, uh, been watching the rugby recently, so uh, yeah, I've not been here very much. I've not been parks very much. <laughs> no, it's been a... And I've certainly not been in videos for a while. No, you haven't. It's uh, It's been a fairly quiet theme park year for you, hasn't it? It has, yeah. It's, uh, all, the, all this year's events have caught up. Or, or, should I say, last year's events have caught up on me that all got cancelled. Yeah. So. The thing is, as well, we had the America event to save up for and we quarantine did. for yeah. and then obviously after that you've got the the sports that you go to and stuff like that and altringham yeah so it's been busy but we can confirm that you are still part of pbe i've not been sacked not been sacked <laughs> yes. no not yet no i've not found a reason to get rid of you yet i don't think our viewers would allow it to be quite honest with you um pleasure beach then quiet day by the looks of it looks like it yeah yeah it's a you know it's a, it's a saturday in november weather's a bit grim yes I mean, it's, you know it's grim because you're in a hoodie and not in shorts. <laughs> and to be fair, I'm in a coat and not in shorts, so it's definitely some strange goings on today. So, big one, we did that first. Yeah. What did you make of it? I weren't bad. It's a bit windy up there, so... Yeah. It's not going to be at its fastest, is it? But... No, you wanted to talk about seatbelts. Yeah, so the... We're on the um, back of the... Uh, the front of the back car. And uh, yeah, the seat belts are extremely short on that that section. They're even for those who've ridden it, they're shorter than magnets. Yes. Which I never thought I'd say. But I... um, yeah, really short to the point I had a job doing it up. Which when it was last here, which was around the journey to hell press night weekend, actually I found that the seat belts towards the front of the train were massive. So either the ones at the back are due to be replaced, or it's a different train. Yeah. We shall see when we go and have another go in a minute. So I'm just going to flip the camera around. So I just want to say as well that it, it's not just like Mike complaining about the seatbelts. It was genuinely tight on me. I mean, I've got a coat and two jumpers on, so that might be why, but it was genuinely tight. And I've been going on the big one for a long time and I've never been like, oh, the seatbelt might not actually close. I'll tell you what it reminded me of. Goliath at Wallaby Holland with its tiny seatbelts. It was like that. Anyway, enough talk for now. I'm going to go and do the big one again. We've uh, just gone to do the big one again. However, it seems to be uh, having some technical issues. Functioning. So the thing that we're going to do now is revolution. But one thing that we've noticed straight away... The thing is as well, we're only on an 11.5. Yeah. So closing right, I, I, I sort of... I'm not entirely an amateur with the idea of shutting at 8 and 9 on a late night. But closing them early on a 5 o'clocker. Yeah, it's a bit daft. There's just no sure need. Can get on with that, really. No, I, I mean get the idea. It's bonfire night. Have some fireworks. But... Yeah. The thing is, Pleasure Beach is literally dead. Yeah. It's just like nobody is wanting to come to Blackpool on a day like this. It's not a dig at the park. It's just crap weather in November. Lancashire in November. Football on. We're in football it, season, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, and it's it's never busy at and this time of the year. Trains were meant to be on strike today. Yeah, but four o'clock. Sorry, that's poor. Anyway, Rev? Yeah! Why are you making me go up these steps, man? Because I didn't get to go on it last time I was here. No, fair enough. Let's do it then. <laughs> We've taken our ride on the Revolution. Mike forced me to walk up all those steps. Are you happy? Was it worth it? Yeah. yeah. Always worth it. It is. It is good. Just wish we'd done what the Americans had done and put a lift in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're watching Pleasure Beach, can we have an elevator on the rev, please? Please. <laughs> please. <laughs> a request from two broken men in their thirties. No, so great the, ride. On a on a serious note, the revs had quite a bit of trouble this year with rolling back and having to be rescued. Do you think its days could be numbered, or am I just overthinking it a little bit? I believe it has had something done on it, though, recently. Yeah. Well, like I said, for example, I was here a few weeks ago, 
and it wasn't open that weekend because I believe it was having work done on it. Yeah. So was that not a rollback situation or? No, it was. I believe it was scheduled to be shut that weekend. Oh, that Fall makes sense. Work, so. It would be sad to see it go because yeah, I mean, when you think it. about it, like with its footprint, you're going to struggle to replace it without building a whole new coaster. But to be fair, I suppose you could put the lift hill where it is. Or, um, or you build, um, not a Zach spin, an one, SNS, of, one of those SNS Joker 4D yeah, thingies. Yeah, yeah. That'd fit there. It would be good actually. Yeah, they are decent fair, rides. I've not, on, I've not been on one of them before. Everyone I spoke to in June said to want it. Um, to say New Orleans and that's been flooded for 15 years I was going to say we definitely didn't we definitely <laughs> didn't go there Six Flags Great event, Six Flags Great America come everyone on everyone that went on it and said that was a really good coaster so. you're vlogging rusty Mike <laughs> I am rusty very very rusty I'm also rusty. forgetting locations in America there's too many Six Flags parks <laughs> there is we've not been to all of them either so we'll they'll get even to, we'll get even free. more free yes it is free Great so, America Great Adventure in St Louis yeah there'll be more of those after the 2024 trip Um so yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like its days could be numbered, it but could be. It, I mean, it depends on it. if it's going to start wanting it's a lot of work. Again. Yeah. And understandably, it would be because as much as it, I, I enjoy it, and as much as it is a really great coaster, and as much as it is a dying breed. Yes, it is. It's only two left in the world. That works. Too. There oh, it goes. This advantage. Yeah. More happy guests. Yes. But, oh. like, like I said, though, if it's going to start getting pivotably expensive to maintain, yeah. then business said it's got to go, hasn't it? Yeah, that's it. I mean, to be I fair... I don't want it to go. No. I know what you mean. To be fair, there is... I say there's no space to replace it. There probably is, because you could probably put a station and lift hill in its footprint. Easy. And Pleasure Beach like to build over stuff, yeah. so they could like quite easily you could do that. It, you could put a free spin in its place. Yeah. Dive you, coaster... They don't take up that much Not space. Really. But um, what else could they do? There it comes again. Some Let's, sort of boomerang. Yeah. Let, let's be honest though. I don't think Pleasure Beach are getting a new coaster anytime soon. I, I don't well, think I'd they like will. To. I'd like them to, but I don't see it. I don't, uh, and if they are, it's not going there. No, I well, it depends what happens with this big wheel, which we'll yeah. cover later on. What's next? Avalanche. Avalanche? Well, we're right next to it and it's got no queue, so. That'd be a logical man's choice. Laughing. The man's laughing, <laughs> is he? Is, let's go then. <laughs> Slight change of plan on Avalanche. It's got one train on and that's got a big queue, so what's the plan? Nickelodeon streak. We'll go and check it out, see if it's quieter. Moist that's rail as well. Let's go then. Just taking our walk-on ride on Nickelodeon Street. Very happy with no queue on that. You know, it's quiet when the street's not got a queue. I know, yeah. It's good, though. It's a great Re ride. How good was that today? It's got some intent. It has. You know, nice. Oh, we're going to get a typical <laughs> seaside sound here. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's Blackpool when you hear that noise. You even know you're in Blackpool or Rill when that kicks in. Yeah. Anyway, Nickelodeon yeah, Street. Moist rail always helps. Oh, yeah. I think a term we used a lot when we were in Mount Olympus was raucous, and I think that that fit into the raucous it's not scale. Far off, is it? No. So we were just talking about retracts. There's yeah. been a bit of rumour about the first drop being retracked over the close season. Is that needed, do you think, or somewhere well, else? I was thinking that it doesn't, and then I forgot about there's a bit of a hop as it goes over the edge. Yes. So probably. Um, just to speed it out. But I think the bit I do, and I know Big Dipper is looking at having this done as well. Is the angled turn next to the big pizza kitchen? Yes. Because I think that's the bit. If ever I notice it, that's a bit jolty and a bit bumpy. Is the angled turn? Yeah. Now what I was thinking was, is would that be worth rather than doing it in house, have someone like Gravity Group or GCI come and have a look at it? Yeah. The, the, the view of possibly just altering the profile slightly on it. Yeah. Not talking about changing the whole layout no <coughs> but just just all they might you know technology's moved on yeah this coast is what 90 year old something like off. that Ni 1923 was it 33 33 is dipper isn't it yeah. yeah 33 I think isn't it there it goes well, yeah, it's close to 90 year old the technology's changed yes it has these guys are absolute experts at bringing older coasters back to life I've seen um, GCI done 
some good work with the, the cyclone. Yeah. We tell the bit on the cyclone when we rode at the GCI and And also you got gravity groups work on, on the, beast. The, the, the beast and yeah. the racer, yeah. Kings Island, and I'm sure that they'll be doing more work like that over the next couple well, of years. They are doing on the beast, aren't they? Yeah, and various other parks. So it's an avenue to possibly explore. Oh, seaside time. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Anyway, you to explore. Now, now you've mentioned Pizza Kitchen, I want garlic bread. Oh, right, okay. Are we going? That, is a, that determines where dinner is then. It seems like it, doesn't it? <laughs> Should we go and have a feast? Yeah. It's not closing weekend and it's not opening weekend, which is why these boats are empty and that Mike's not on them. I believe you're going to be doing a bit of a log flume re-riding session on the final weekend, well, but not today. Well, I was opening for 2022. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Well, it does. Final weekend. It still says it on the website. To be fair, we will cover that more later. But imagine, imagine if it does. <laughs> imagine the queue if it opened on closing weekend. I know it'd be the only the only reason why I would regret not being here is if that opened just to see what it's like. But I think log flume's nice and quiet today. But I don't think we'll be doing it. No, no. It's a last weekend and an opening weekend uh, thing, isn't yeah. it? Or a PB event. Or an event. But yeah, but yeah. Honestly. I have got no intention of going on this ride today and neither's Mike. No. Right, dinner. What do we do after the big pizza kitchen? We Pleasure Beach train. Express. Yeah. It's got to be done, hasn't it? However, unfortunately, now raining. Again. <laughs> Just in time for us to come on here, but how was your dinner? I enjoyed it. Yeah, it looked good. good day today. Can be a little bit in this, but... Yeah, agreed. It was quite quiet, so... It was quite quiet and they were rolling the food out, so it was quite it was fresh. The only problem I had with it was the Pepsi was so flat you could have posted it. But otherwise, the pizzas were really nice. And uh, also, big shout out to John on the train. Really yeah. nice guy. Not the, not the usual John. No, not the <laughs> usual John. He was on, yeah, he was on the Rev. A, a different John. Yeah. Two Johns. Something about this ride. Yeah, two Johns, both very friendly on different rides. It's now called John the Ride. John the Ride. John <laughs> Express. Yeah. Yeah, no, in all seriousness, great guy, nice chatting to him. Um, and we seem to have lost a bit of focus. You've just been lost in your hood. <laughs> yeah, there you are, you're back again. And gone again. Big one's back open. Yeah. Fancy you going it in the rain? Not really. No, not really. Not really. It might be a bit old for that. Yeah, same. It might be dark ride time soon. Yeah. Quick mention for the Big Dipper whilst we're going past it on the train. It's actually closed today and uh, probably going to be closed for the rest of the season because the trains are already in the car park so we're assuming retrack aren't we yeah i mean there was talk that they were going to do the section by big blue and you said before that you wanted them to do it yeah and i think on an earlier vlog this season becca actually said that she wanted them to do it so definitely good that it's getting it's done it's if it's too. like and then the turn after that as well the yeah bouncy turn the bouncy turn <laughs> just a uh, Interrupting the Big Dipper chat, it is still very quiet here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Icon two trains though, that's good to see. One and a half. It's still on two trains. One and a half. <laughs> One and three quarters. Well, Enzo is. Enzo I'm guessing Enzo. Yeah. Can I have a go? I might do. You might do. Depends on weather. Depends on the weather. <laughs> yeah. Good. I've been launched into that uh, in rain before. It's not pleasant. No, we, <laughs> we we did that when it was new. Yeah. Not doing that now. We've uh, got a bit of drainage going on it in Fusion. <laughs> it's in Fusion completely over puddles. So the big one is being retracked this year again. I actually went to Tazica to have a look at the track the other day. They always do a great job, don't it's they? Very impressive. Yeah, Tazica do a great job. Yeah. They really do. Looking forward to seeing how it is again after another retrack. Yeah. Yeah, so the, the section they're doing is, can't really show it very well from here. It's a bit that's behind Infusion on camera. Dip four, I believe, Mike. Dip four? I think it's needed. Yeah, it's got the jolt. Yeah. The whole thing is it really. You think they'll do the whole thing? I think they'll do most of it, yeah. I mean, they've got the elephant in the room. If you need to work out, you're going to add another 25 foot on top of it. Well, I believe it's um, Marcus and Justin from the European Coaster Club have actually said quite a few times online that it is actually, the footers are down enough that they could expand on the height. Imagine. Right. Yeah, I don't know exactly how far. Idea. You have an idea. Wildfire style turnaround at the top. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be honest, it'd save, save the need to build a new coaster to take the record back, yeah. wouldn't it? 
I see you thought Park and I race you. Do you think they've got the do you think they've got the competitive edge about them to do it? I want to say yes, but I think well competitive edge probably. But practicality probably takes over. Yeah. It's let's be honest, there's only realistically two ways you can do it. One of them is to increase the rake of the lift hill. Yeah. Which means replacing the whole lift hill. Or well, one of them is working out how to extend the lift hill. Yeah, I think I think they'd be more likely to make it a sharper incline going up yeah. and a steeper drop down. I do think it's doable. It's doable. I just don't think it'll happen. But it's how much it'll cost to do it. It's Probably cheaper than a record breaking dive machine. Oh, I don't know. You're not. How much is one of them these days? Oh, not a clue. <laughs> I've not bought one lately. Not about you. Ah, well, not played roller coaster tycoon enough lately. <laughs> <laughs> I think inflation might have come into it a little bit. Oh, missing something really important here. They've uh, taken all the theming down from under Star Hill. So, Pleasure Beach Express is getting a retheme. Yeah, I've not played roller coaster tycoon for a while to know about the uh, the, the fantasy changes to theme parks. <laughs> <laughs> Get on it. RCT2, Six Flags Holland. <laughs> We've still got Express on it though, so. No, that's that's true. So there it is, this is where we think they're doing Big Dipper. Like we say, it's probably needed. It was a little bit um, Ariana Grande side to side the last time I went on it, to be honest. Let's see if there's anything going on on a random Saturday in November. Yes, yes, there is. There's track, track out already. There we go. Definitely getting a retrack on that corner then. Yeah, there we have it. it oh, year. and more there. Terrible camera work this. But you always get the Pleasure Beach updates first on Pleasure Beach Experience. Absolutely. You saw that one here first. Yeah, absolutely. Good news. Loki's bar's got a new sign. Bad news. Valhalla's still not open. 2022 though, still says on the website, so there's still Close a chance. Weekend. Told Close you week. last day I'll be here. Well, on it, well, last week. I will laugh so much. I will be in Sulu, and I will <laughs> laugh a lot if you send me pictures of you on Valhalla. I'll be here, drenched, hypothermic. Yeah. You'll find me in the uh, Velvet Coaster after on the brew like that, whatever else has got a pint. Yeah, exactly, it'll be the first time I'll ever. that I've not got a pint. Yeah, agreed. So, in all seriousness, it does still say on Pleasure Beach's website it's opening in 2022. Realistically, do you see it opening this year? <laughs> well, they've covered up their turntable, that's progress. Right, okay. <laughs> Less of the sarcasm, just trying to be positive. No, there's no way that's opening this year, is it? Let, let's talk about what they have done. They've, they've covered the turntable up with that wood. I mean, you might think differently, but it just doesn't fit in. I think it might look different once the wall's down here. You do? Yeah. Once you see, because there's quite a lot of woodwork at a level that we can't currently see. That's true. So I think it might look different once the wall comes down. Yeah, I hope so. Because honestly, I, I know I'm going to get accused of being negative. It just doesn't fit in. I'm going to zoom in on it. I just don't think it looks very good, if I'm being completely honest, but... Like you say, I'm willing to see what it's like when it opens. Mike's a bit more positive about it than me, and that is a positive. Because we did, we just sort of briefly mentioned about Loki having a new sign. Yeah. If that does properly get opened back up, that's great that, news. Yeah, I think that's fantastic. Yeah, it but is. I think it's an underused yeah, building. It is because when they opened it for. I think it was two weeks in 2017. Yeah, and it, it was excellent. Really nice upstairs, didn't it was it? really nice. They did really nice hot drinks in there, yeah. and it was just a great place to go and shelter when it the weather was, was like this. Warm atmosphere, wasn't it? Yeah. Where they used to put the fake fire on the screens. Yeah. But psychologically, it's warm. Yes. The fact that you see the flames mean that you feel the heat, even though it really actually isn't it. Yeah. But and you looked out the window, yeah. saw it was like this, and went, "Oh, I'm glad I'm inside." Don't like that again. Like, yeah. It'd be quite nice right about now actually to uh, yeah, it was. film this up there yeah to be It'd honest be I said in another video that this was going to be used as a Valhalla shop obviously I'm very wrong that was just you what I'd know. heard at the time you never know you've got to when you've got loads of new 
Valhalla merch yeah. because they showed it off in their fashion show. Did yeah. you go? Fortunately not. I think no. it was on a Thursday night, wasn't it? It was. Thursday nights are a bit of a no-go for me. No, that's fair enough. I play football on the Thursdays, plus I'm work. Yeah. <laughs> Can't really get out here on a Thursday night. I made a, made a big exception for uh, Journey to Hell's press night. Yeah. But yeah, Thursdays are not really a, no, to be a fair, starter for, for myself. I do think in, in that fashion show, they actually told people Valhalla wasn't opening. Mm. So the question is, why have they not told everybody on social media? It would make sense, wouldn't it? It would, because, <laughs> I mean, it's not like anyone's come for it today, is it? I mean, how often do you see Ice Blast? I'm going to walk and talk, so it's going to be terrible filming. How often do you see Ice Blast that quiet on a Saturday? That is, that tells the whole story of today. But I said going to Loki, we said it so many times the one thing that we really lack here given that we're in a location where the weather's like this routinely is indoor seating areas yes restaurant even if, you know it doesn't even have to be a, a full a full on restaurant but it did sell food did and actually to be fair the paninis used to be alright in there the paninis were well paninis nice really nice in there the, the food and drinking there was ace and, e- great, didn't and it? even when like even just, when just the downstairs yeah. bit was open it was good we filmed our first ever PB monthly in there. I think we did, didn't we? We yeah. did, yeah. But yeah, I just... Like I say, I'd love to see it used, but I think it's a, an underused resource, really. Especially once you get Valhalla back open. OK, so let's let's think positively. Valhalla reopening 2023, surely. When in the year do you see it opening? Will it's it be like, opening? Well, sound like what I said at the start of this year, but end of May. End of May. I said that at the start of this year, didn't I? Do you know what I'm going for? End of June, early July. That's my prediction yeah, for Valhalla. I mean, another thing I'd say with Loki's is there's a balcony there on the top. Yes. Great view now, you're in the summer, that, isn't it? In hindsight, should Pleasure Beach have got rid of Valhalla and just started again? No, because I think the brand's worth enough. I just can't believe how quiet Pleasure Beach is. I know Alton Towers fireworks are on, I know the weather's rubbish, but it is genuinely sad to see it this quiet on a Saturday. Weather's got really grim. I should not be able to tell. So, uh, Wallace it is. Wallace and Gromit. Dark ride marathon. It is a dark ride marathon. Yeah. We've, we've passed on the ghost train, haven't we? Because the queue's outside. Yeah, big, queue. big queue. and it's outdoors. In the rain. Yes. But luckily, this one's not too bad. It should take about 10 minutes from here. Everyone, look at Gromit. And say cheese. Cheese. We'll go somewhere where there's cheese. Oh, oh a good job I greased the bearings. Uh, did you check the brakes, man? It's my turn for breakfast this morning, Tommy. Uh, porridge today, man. Tuesday. Taking a ride on Wallace and Gromit, and then we went straight to the river caves. And Mike got wet because the uh, little water feature at the start didn't switch off, did it? <laughs> so I went on an indoor ride to stay dry <laughs> and got wet. <laughs> there was a uh, something of a lake in the bottom of the boat too, which wasn't that ideal. Was well. But um, anyway, on to the next thing. We're now going to do the Grand National, best woody in the country. I know Mike doesn't agree with me on that particularly. But what is funny is when we were walking up to it, we thought it was shut. Because <laughs> it's that quiet, didn't we? Yeah. There was no trains in view and there was no people in view. It's like, oh, I must be shut then. <laughs> but no, it is actually open. So uh, there is a couple of people in the station now. But yeah, I don't know if Mike will agree with me, but I think we need to do a few laps on this. I don't. You don't think so? No. I'll be doing it on my own then, I think. I think one will probably be enough. One will be enough. 
fair enough. Right, well, let's go and do it and then we'll chat about it after. In shot here, we have the first turn on the best woody in the country. Although, if you ask Mike, he has a completely different view than me. I didn't know it was in South Wales. We're definitely not going on Megaphobia today. But it's so definitely not the best, woody. the best woody in the country then. <laughs> Grand National, the best woody in the country. You've been listening to Mark too much. Nah, it uh, is. But no, Disagree. Disagree. Well, Dis the streak was better for a start. Disagreement in the camp of the Grand National. <laughs> what is it you don't like about it and what could make it better? It's just rough. <laughs> it's got bat absolutely battered. Yeah, we, you well, the senior rider don't do it any favours. No. I tell you what doesn't help on a rainy day in November the is the floor's quite slippy, yeah. so you can't really plant Race. your feet down. And we both said that was an issue, but I didn't think it was too bad. I did. Yeah, I, but did. I say I, I just don't think that's that the design of the train is particularly good. You don't like it, do you? No. It's the seat dividers. Yeah. The seat dividers are horrible. And the same on any of those trains. Yeah. So uh, looking to the future of the Grand National, obviously. This time last year it was closed. We didn't know if it was going to reopen. What do you think is the long-term future of the National? Is it here to stay? Will it get, you know, like the beast? RMC it. RMC. <laughs> Will you get in the bin? <laughs> Look, I'm all for That's an RMC. I'm, I'm by all the way. for an RMC at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, but not in favour of the best Woody, in, which has got no queue in the country. So it's got no queue. So we need to keep this quick so we can go on it again. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be going on it again. You can go on it yourself. Yeah. Um, well, obviously, with part now it needs further retrack work. Yeah, um, that's that's in hand. Yeah, it's in hand to be fair. Do um, you see a gravity group, a GCI, or even RMC I with their overhaul one? Oh, this, it? Yeah, with, with RMC they've got the 208 retrack, which is four classic woodies. Yeah. So that is actually an option. Yeah, I, I think any of those. Yeah, companies are an option really. I mean, a lot of people will say, oh, it's listed, they can't touch it, but they actually can. I mean, if it's if it's in disrepair and it needs work doing, it can be done. Also, it's if you're replacing wooden track, you can still do it. Yeah. You know, you, you're replacing like for like, just a, yeah. a different style, but yeah. it will still look the same, which yeah. is the important thing. For me, I don't know, it's been... This is crying over spilt milk, but the, the wood is being listed here. I think it's actually a travesty. I think it's a, quite dangerous like there, to be It honest. just doesn't help the park. I don't think the park chose for them to be listed, did they? No. no. I don't think it actually helps the possible legacy or the future of the ride. No, it doesn't. It stymies it, because what it what the one I think it might well prefer quickly is Gravity Group touching it. Yeah. Because... If I look at the modifications they made to the Beast, yep. they quite significantly altered the look of the structure. Yeah. Because they put, um, for those who aren't aware, they put a lot of me um, metal cross beams yeah. in the turn, the part of the turn they've done on the Beast. There's a lot of metal cross beams. I suspect you probably can't do that. On with this. a listed structure no because it would significantly alter the, the structure what GCI may be doing yeah you could probably do it because it doesn't look materially any different no it just, it just rides smoother so I don't I don't actually know what the rules and regs are if Pleasure Beach just went it's our ride we'll do what we want with it I don't know if they could just do that oh, they get, I'd imagine they'll get I'll fine I don't know for it but hey. I don't actually know what the, no. you say what the rules are for doing it no, because obviously... What's the point? The penalties are for No, I was going to say, if, if the penalties are fine and it's nothing else, surely it's worth it. You do it. Yeah. Just suck the fine up. Yeah. I don't know where... I don't know whether there's any sort of criminal... It, 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 honestly, it'd be ridiculous it if it was a... Me. No, it wouldn't. It'd be a, it would actually be criminal to class it as criminal for actually saving trying to keep it going a classic roller coaster. I mean oh you're going to jail because you re the Grand National yeah. <laughs> it's you ridiculous put a bit of metal in the structure and it don't look like it used to yeah and <laughs> exactly but I, yeah, I don't know whether there is that level of ramification to it or not no same if anybody knows please let us please know in the comments because that we can, uh, we can potentially sort of uh, relay that yeah, definitely. Be interesting well, to know, adds but... A, adds another dimension to discussions. Yes, it does. So, 
long term future what do you want them to do I should say as well well I just retrack literally retracking yeah the ride itself in terms of what's been there for 80 odd years 90 odd years is absolutely brilliant I loved this ride when I was a kid I still want to love the ride it's just the actual riding experience is not pleasant fair enough can't argue with that Whereas I am going to argue with it and say that the Grand National for me is the best Woody in the country, but I know that like me and Mark are pretty much in the minority with that. But each to their own. Some people like the Wicker Man as the best coaster in terms of wood. Some people like Megaphobia, Mike. But there we go. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I thought the Beast, for example, in 2019 was dreadful. It was. I rode it in 2022, having had a load of work done to it, and then, for the most part, I thought it was really good. Yeah. I still think there's work to do on it. Yeah. But I am also confident, having spoken to people in the know at the park that guided us round earlier in the year, that that will get done. Yeah. Because there is a plan on it. And the, the, the more gets done, as you know, with wooden roller coasters, the more gets done, the more it helps it. Yeah, absolutely. Right, anyway, I'm going to go and have another go on it. You coming? I'm not not done any merch talk on a video for a while so Mike's making a purchase he's not making a purchase you're not making anyway, what would you like that. how much 35 quid that's actually not bad that's for one really of them is it good. that's really good because it is actually it's a regatta coat as well yeah so it'll be pretty weatherproof yes guarantee that'll be pretty weatherproof just what you need in Blackpool on a random Quite Saturday in November <laughs> Quite proved when we're all drenched. What about them? <laughs> uh, not my personal taste, but I know quite a few people would go for them. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of the quilting style. No. I, that, I did have a quilted coat a long time yeah. ago in the early days of Pleasure Beach experience. <laughs> Back in the day. Yes. Uh, what about the. Yeah, so have I. As seen in a lot of our vlogs, them hats. Yeah, I've seen all over America in June. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> got hats everywhere. And it weren't D squared ones, it was no, actual Pleasure Beach actual icon. icon Any other merch in here that takes your fancy? Uh, Do you want to give us a little tour? Yeah, we'll have a look around because I've not been in for a while. So. And it's dry. And it's dry. Walking and talking, yeah. dodgy filming, <laughs> guaranteed. Yeah, I've not been in for a while. So. See, my one criticism of the icon merch is that. From my point of view, this style is just not for me. And likewise with these. No, I've not, not really there's not really any hoodies that I'd buy at them at this point now. There is one. Yeah. I think that I'd have people behind you. I didn't want you I didn't want you to walk into the that's all. But an Enzo hoodie. I'd have to go on it first. You'd have to go on it first, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Probably not for me no. Find the it is that one. He's found one. Hold on. Didn't you have a hoodie that colour once anyway? I actually did have that colour hoodie just now with icon on it. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't it a United one? one? No. No. It's a red one. No, fair enough. Well I would have. I'd go for that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's very fine. Not bad, not oh, bad. Fair. Teddy bears. And then again, you've got these ones, which I can't imagine Mike's going to buy one with a no. blossom tree on. Uh, backpacks, a bit dark because it's dark in this shop in general. It's dark in here, isn't it? Got quite a bit of Enzo merch in that corner again, yeah, Mike. He's it's got it's all off of me. I don't rub it on it either. No. <laughs> you got to go on it first. Yeah. More teddy bears. And then we've got these ones, Mike. I don't know if you like these ones, these hoodies. Sort of. Yeah, I don't mind them. I'm not sure whether I buy one, but... No. And then we've got these ones here. Get the badge in. Oh, are you? Get the icon. Or oh, Ico. <laughs> Get the icon badge in. <laughs> Pleasure Beach's version of Stone Island. Get the badge in. We'll be Towers away next week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll have a job in shut. Isn't it open for the 10k run? Oh, yeah. You're doing it? No, me neither. <laughs> Got to be able to run first. Well, this is it. You won't catch me running anytime. And then you've got these technical T-shirts. Oh, by the way, the Icon hoodies are pretty much a standard price. Like Mike was saying, good value for money. Would you say? It's not bad, to be fair. No, it's 
especially the two for sex time. Yeah. Or don't forget, the, the other option is for season pass holders, rather than the two for 60, because we can't have a discount on that. No. Is, the, uh, is it 20% with it? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Something like that. I have no so, idea anymore. What well, probably brings it to about 30 quid, actually. Yeah. I should be able to do the maths on I was going to say, don't ask me to do maths. It's not my thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, quickly. That's the thing, if the event far, pricing right? ever seems a bit much, blame it on Mike and Mark. They're the ones <laughs> who do the pricing. Yeah, <laughs> I don't do the I don't do numbers. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's not a bad price really that. 35 quid for it. No. At least it's not fifty dollars for a t-shirt. <laughs> Macklemore won't be too happy about that. No. Right, should we go and do the some American parks in it? Uh, yeah. Uh, and the rest. Especially in Universal. Uh, $50 for a hot dog in Universal. <laughs> so we got uh, other bits and that's including hats. Oh, it. I've got one there as well. Why am I not surprised? I could just imagine you in one of them. I haven't got one of them. That's oh. from the summer when I've come here with about four hats in the back of the car. Yeah. Walk above. into the park, realise it's really sunny and hot, and decide I can't be bothered going back to the car and buy another hat. <laughs> so you got a mirror where you can check yourself out in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, these are new since I was last here, actually. I haven't actually seen these ones before. They're all right, actually. I wouldn't have the one on the right, but the one on the left's all right. Should right, I... It's kind of the. It's a variant on that jumper that a lot of people have. Yes. The one with the layered colours on it. And uh, lastly, bobble hats. Icon bobble hats. There we are. Merch tour by Scott and Mike. We've not done one of them for a while. For, for ages, haven't we? No. Right, should we go and do the big one? Yeah. So I can see where it says zero. It stops raining. And then we shut the rides half an hour early. Yeah. For a, what sounded like a five minute tops firework display. Well, I'm not even sure it was that long. The one on South Pier lasted longer. <laughs> Which is a bit annoying, really. Now, I'm not enamoured with the idea of shutting rides at eight or nine on a 10 o'clock close to have a firework display. But on a five o'clock close, come on. Yeah. Five o'clock? It's not even. It hadn't even gone dark. It literally hadn't even gone dark. You know, the, the, the darkness, it's, I mean, it's now what? Half past five now. Yeah. Why couldn't you have had them now? Exactly. You don't frustrate people in. You know, people might watch this and say, oh, come on, guys, you, you've got season passes, you visit often, but we're in the middle of Not it. Not at 20 quid a tank. Or if, 20 that's, quid for the fuel that's, to that's get That's it. the thing. I Plus mean, 10 I, quid for food. I could understand that viewpoint if it wasn't extortionate for fuel to get here and extortionate to get food and drink while here, which we've done. It just leaves a bad taste. Yeah. Back when it, back when I could get a... You know, back when it was one pound a litre and I could drive there on a tenner if I was being careful. Might have been all right. But when it, when it costs you 20 quid to get here just in petrol, and then on a, an already short day, you take half your day out, uh, half an hour out of your day to put money into the catering facilities here. Yeah. When I could have just held off and gone Bentley's at five o'clock instead. Yeah, well, probably would have been half four, like. Half but four, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? If it, at that point, when, it's, when, it's, when you've had breakfast at half ten, I could quite easily leave me dinner till half four. Yeah. And just have dinner and have a bag of crisps or something. So, moving on, because obviously when I do my wrap-up, I'm going to be complaining, no doubt. <laughs> um, good parts of the day. I don't want to just be negative. Brick one absolutely fighting. Yeah. Street was absolutely on it. You know, the, we enjoyed Wallace. Well, it's always a laugh, isn't it? A good yeah, it hiding, is. Good hiding from the uh, weather. Yeah. River Caves decided that we were going to get wet anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's, it wasn't a horrendous day. It's just the shutting early leaves a bad taste in the mouth. Yeah, it does. And it, this is not a new problem. No. <laughs> it's not. They've been, do, they've been doing this ever since they brought back the so-called late-night ridings. Yeah. 
but they're not late night ride. I mean, today wasn't a late night right, riding. That wasn't but, late night riding. But they do Tonight this on a late even, night riding today anyway. Wasn't even an early, uh, a late evening. No, I mean we complained about this in April, when they shut rides early for fireworks, and yeah. here we are again at six months later, and it's the same problem. Yeah. It just annoys people. We and actually spoke to one family that were quite frustrated at having spent good money on tickets. Yes. You know, yeah. it's, it's one thing for us as season pass holders to have a bit of a moan when it's 20 quid to get here and 10 quid for your dinner and the five for breakfast. But when it's 150 quid for you to just come in the park, <laughs> it does leave a really bad taste. And like I say, it's not just us complaining when other people are complaining, it's... Yeah. Any other highlights? Pizza was good. It was good. Pizza was good. To be fair, like you say, it wasn't a horrendous day. No, it, it was wasn't. Just the, it was just the, the, the ending of it. And unfortunately, that's where we end up on the video. Yeah. As they always say, a, 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 a bad final impression leaves a, a bit of taste. It does. I've never heard that phrase, but it's a good one. Mackie's. <laughs> Mackie's management right there. Yeah. Fair enough. Because we used to have one of the things that we used to have to was quite big was that your parting comment's got to be good and your final comment has got to be good. Yeah. A bit in between's got to be good as well, right? But yeah, but there's got to yeah. be you got to make a good first good and first last impression, good last impression. Yeah, we didn't have any motivational good speeches like that where I worked, <laughs> <laughs> but we made cars, so. Yeah, you didn't deal with people did, every day, did you? No, exactly. Like just say it's one of them where you you literally you leave you leave and you're not really right up about the, about it. The communication with Valhalla in 2022 has been poor, and communicating things like rides closing early has been poor. They don't give you that information. Now, outside of the big one today, there was no, there was nothing to suggest the ride was closing at three, four, five, six, ten o'clock because there was no closing sign on it. There was a sign telling us it opened at 11, but there was nothing to say when it would, would actually be closed. Now, the rev, we showed it in the video, it showed that the rev was closing at four, so we should have assumed the big one would close at four. But when you're going on the ride and you say to the staff, is it actually gonna close at four? And they go, I don't know. If they don't know, how are we supposed to know? Just, again, it's communication. And I've actually had up until four o'clock, a really good day. It's been great to be back here with Mike. It's been great to go on the big one. It's been great to go on the Grand National. It's been just great to be back here. I actually really enjoyed today. And then they just randomly close the rides when they are literally walk on. And it's like, you see Icon going around with empty trains at half four because they shut the queue early. And you see big one going around empty well before the fireworks starts. Like, why? 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 Are you leaving yourselves open for people to moan at you? I mean, it's, I'll probably get an email saying, oh, why are you having a go us? Because it's annoying. It's cost me £35 in fuel today. £35 in fuel because everyone's got to pay for the nose for fuel now. And then it's a tenner for dinner, £3 for a bottle of pop, or £2, whatever it is. It soon builds up. And I want to support the park. I want to put money into the park. I want to come here. I want to advertise it on YouTube and say, oh, we're having a great day at Pleasure Beach, like we have done today. But then they do that, and it's just annoying. Why not have the fireworks on at quarter past five, half five, and run the rides until five o'clock when the park actually shuts at five o'clock? It's just, oh, it's annoying. But they've been doing this since they brought the fireworks in in 2016. It just frustrates the life out of me. It's just poor communication, poor guest experience don't see it anywhere else I don't know why Pleasure Beach have to do it just keep the rides open until 5 start fireworks at half 5 what, what is the issue with that it's just, a, it's just annoying and it's like Mike says we've spoken to people who have come from Scotland who've paid I wouldn't even like to know how much they paid in fuel but it'll be a free figure sum and they paid a free figure sum to get any and then at 4 o'clock the Sorry guys, you're not going on the big one anymore and you're not going on this. Annoying for them, it's annoying for us. Yes, we do come here often. Yes, we should have known better, but it's still annoying. And I want to address a comment from somebody on Twitter who doesn't even follow Pleasure Beach Experience who's going on saying, I've got no sympathy for you because you've been on the park all day. I can't have a night ride on the big one at three o'clock in the afternoon, mate. It doesn't work like that, I'm afraid. So. 
that's why we're frustrated. Now let's talk about the good stuff today. Grand National, I had two rides on it, really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed my goals on the big one. Really enjoyed Nickelodeon Streak. I just enjoyed being back at the park. But I'm just frustrated that this is probably my last time here this year and it's ended on this note. It's just annoying. But I'm just being negative again, I guess. And should just lap it up and celebrate parks closing rides 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 50 minutes early when really there's no reason for it. I'm, just, I'm frustrated and I'm just going to leave it there because otherwise I'm going to get myself into trouble by moaning too much. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if we've been a little bit too negative with this outro. We just are both really frustrated. But yeah, many thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next Pleasure Beach Experience video.